What up, fellas? It's your boy Johnny, and it is officially August. I know. It's back to school season. Sad days for you. But that's totally okay, bro, because I got you. Everyone's been posting these videos in July, trying to give you those back to school feelings early, but not me. And back when I was in college, man, boy, I didn't know how to dress. I mean, I still don't, but y'all remember when the Janowskis were hot? <sighs> yeah, those were the days for me. I didn't have a guide. But now it is time for you to get back into school mode because today I got a few cheap ways to look fresh for the back to school season. Starting off with number one is something I like to categorize as a unique fitment. We all know what the school kids are gonna be wearing, right? Fitted clothes. But honestly, I'm gonna say it, it's straight up bland. Unless you lift, seriously, I'll be honest, Fitted clothes aren't gonna look amazing on you. Now don't get me wrong, fitted clothes are still gonna look great on you, but for me, I also like to wear oversized clothes. I like both. I'm not gonna pick one over the other and wear that every day. I'm gonna mix it up. So by unique fitment, I mean anything that isn't your standard skinny jeans and a t-shirt. So you guys already know that oversized tees look amazing and if you're not into it, I get it. That's why I recommend oversized crew neck sweatshirts. It looks super fresh and I actually think it looks better as an oversized piece. You're gonna buy clothes anyways and there is no price difference with wearing an oversized shirt. We also got crop pants which can be a DIY project for you. Something a lot of guys still aren't doing, including myself, but I'll get on that. And if you aren't into crop pants at all, make your pants look different by cuffing them. Also, do not forget about your cargo pants, okay? Just be like me and sleep with them every night so you don't forget. Good night, babe. Oh. Seriously though, adding some different fitted clothes to your wardrobe expands your realm of outfits. It also looks great and is something new to try out. Now the second cheap way, like composing an outfit all year round, is to accessorize. Now of course, we all know your bracelets, rings, chains, and all that. Wearing these will already make you stand out. We know that. But if you really want to stand out even more, and even have fun with your outfits, search elsewhere. So y'all know I'm on this bandana train right now. It's a great way to add a splash of color or pattern to your outfit, and it can be placed pretty much anywhere, from your belt loop, your arms, around your thigh, on your head. As long as it ain't nothing that'll get you associated with some gangs, you're good, bro. But bandanas aren't the only way to add a splash of color or a pattern. There are so many overlooked accessories that can be used to contrast or even complement with another piece, resulting in a more cohesive but pleasing outfit. And I'm talking about your beanies, fanny packs, and extended belts, shoelace belts, and an overlooked piece is the crew socks and even a tote bag. So I'm big on this too, but colored crew socks can be used to complement another piece on your outfit or to make the fit flow well from top to bottom. But any of these larger accessories can be purchased in various colorways. And honestly, rolling with minimal outfits plus accessories is super pleasing versus a super overhyped outfit with all these accessories can be a bit too much. Tote bags are also pretty fresh as well. If you got like a class or two that day, maybe you got architecture and psychology, where all you need is a spiral notebook and one of those dumbass overpriced clickers. You can just use a tote bag. It's unique, it is in your regular backpack, and boy, look at this cause one. Cheap and a dope colorway. So just be careful with the accessories. If you got a fit with a ton of hype, let those pieces shine. If you got a very simple outfit, add on some accessories to make it more balanced. Also, don't overpay for accessories, man. I just get mine from Amazon. Next up is to learn how to layer because based on the calendar, you spend more days in school during the colder seasons because summer break is for reminiscing on why you didn't ask your crush out at the beginning of the semester versus the very last day and she said she ain't feeling you because she thought you guys were friends and you got friend zone. <coughs> I don't have any experience with this at all. Okay, but seriously, you got the edge of summer, all of fall, all of winter, and just a little bit of spring. It's mainly cold when you're in school, so you're gonna want to learn the basic aspects of how to layer so you can compose those clean, cohesive, aesthetic outfits. I'm gonna remake my video on how to layer when the time comes, but a few go-to outfits are a hoodie underneath a denim jacket or a bomber, or something like a crew neck sweatshirt with a contrasting underlayer piece. So instead of buying more clothes, just combine a few pieces and layer them so you can stay warm, keep your wallet happy, and look fresh as well. Okay, after all that, the next way is to keep your fits minimal and simple. Because kids nowadays are always just trying to flex because they're insecure about something. You don't need to buy anything crazy or hyped. Just focus on the main principles of color blocking. And now I finally have a video to reference on this. Sorry to keep y'all waiting. But if you guys want to learn the basics of color blocking, there is a link in the description. Check it out. But to make it simple, mainly focus on contrast. Basically, lighter versus a darker piece. It can be just plain black and white to keep it super minimal and simple, but still fresh. But if you want to add some color, just make sure one piece is a lighter tone than the other. My go-to outfits for these simple fits are just plain white sneakers, which you can get Vans, some Continentals, or even a white leather sneaker for pretty cheap nowadays, black denim, and any colored top. Pretty much any color will contrast against those pants, 
as a top. And of course, the white sneakers are a direct contrast to the black pants. And that is why white sneakers are so awesome and why everyone needs one in their wardrobe. Otherwise, yo, only buy black or white pieces. Because walking out the door with a white shirt and black pants and any sneaker or vice versa, you already look like you know what you're doing. Last but not least is to be in the right headspace. First off, you have five days a week of school. Why don't you mix up your fits, bro? Second, if you are dressing to impress others, then you're already doing it wrong. Wear what you want, wear what makes you the most confident, because when you try and flex how much you got, what pieces you have, you're really just overcompensating for something else, and you need validation from 18 year old kids to make yourself feel something. And third, you're in school. Grades over the fits. But having the right fits gives you the confidence to get good grades. All right, fellas, hope this video helps you out. Enjoy school, because when you get out, <sighs> life, Life kind of sucks. You really got to grow up when you graduate and college really is the last period of time you get to be a kid. So enjoy it because I never got the chance to, all right? Give this video a like, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Leave a comment down below on some cheap ways you guys are going to look fresh. Subscribe to the channel and until then, stay flying. I'm out, bruh. Peace.